here are a few guidelines that we teach in our interpersonal skills and communication workshops. Admit or report problems and mistakes immediately. Delay only compounds the problem for yourself and other people that are involved. The people that need to correct the problem or control the consequences. And then focus on resolution. Rather than wringing your hands about a situation, direct all the energy to solving the problem, either yourself or suggesting solutions to others who have to take action. Offer explanation to restore confidence. Because people are not mind readers, you have to explain why you made the judgment call you did, why the error happened, or explain your reasoning behind your actions. Those explanations restore confidence because people understand mistakes. We're human. We make them. But in the absence of information, it's human nature to assume the worst. You assume the worst about the details of any kind of mistake. They assume that you're careless or you're their poor decision maker. Express regret about the outcome. Even if things are not your fault, you can express sincere regret over a situation without accepting liability. And then be specific. Make clear statements with specific details that show you understand the severity or the potential severity of the situation or problem. Avoid global blanket apologies such as, I'm sorry for any inconvenience this may have caused you. Such vague statements are interpreted to mean, I have no idea what kind of problem I've caused, but if you want a blanket apology, here it is. This merely incites customers, it incites bosses, it incites colleagues. Concern, on the other hand, connects people. In whatever situation, from product recall to layoffs to employee illnesses, there's tremendous power in communicating concern.